tonight on Pinks. It's a show unlike any other. Holy! There's a hole in the floor as I got shot with a cannon. Races that got scrapped. We're done. Shut down. Next turf. I know. gotta do something. Or never even started. Yeah, that, people bail on us, man. Oh, you call a light, child. Is that kind of being kind of pregnant? Hey. You should have more courtesy because your driver did the same thing. It's no shows. Quitters. We're done, yeah. huh? That's it. And breakdowns. How about that squirrely ass nova down there at the speed spot? Lose the race. Lose your ride. What I'm about to show you has never been seen on television before. Eight plus teams put in all the work necessary to prepare, travel, pay all the expenses just to race on tanks. And none of it made it to the air. You'll see what really happens behind the scenes. It's a special edition of Pinks. Oh, he's the same as you. Same as you. You may remember back in season three when Dwayne Jacobs ran against Chris Sullivan and Jamie Wellman. Chris and Jamie showed a tremendous amount of sportsmanship, giving the truck back in exchange for t-shirts when catastrophic failure prevented a final race. Y'all just save your truck for another day. We'll take the t-shirt. Well, we want them t shirt. shirt off my back. Because of this outcome, we wanted the racers to square off again hopefully ending with one racer going home with two vehicles. When you tested your vehicle, is it sound? It's sound. And your vehicle obviously is sound. Jamie, I saw you running last night. Oh, a little issue? And it appears that we've heard a couple cylinders in the bottom end. You know what you signed up for, we're and, here to and we're, gonna, we're here to race. So we're at this time, the first one, run the cars, heads up. Let's do it. Run what you're doing. Shake hands, tail finish line, let's race. <laughs> Sure, there's a bunch of pieces in the pan. This guy, but Rich just came up to me. Said, you gotta take it. What are you taking? Did you win that pass? I won that pass. They won that pass. Would you agree that you were outperformed by yeah. Jamie? Sure was. Okay, yeah. Jamie, could you tell us the state of your vehicle right now? The motor's done. Completely done. Yeah. And it just didn't hold together. I consider Jamie Wellman one of Pink's all-time great competitors, but I awarded his truck to Dwayne after one pass due to catastrophic failure. Later on, we matched up Will Cochran and Tracy Popham in Arizona. Despite the fact that Will was unable to complete his car in time, he showed us a great deal of sportsmanship. Friday night, my motor guy got cold feet, decided to take his motor and drivetrain out of the car, said he didn't want to lose it. I said I'd be here with my car just because people backed out. I'm a man of my word. I'm here with the car right now. And uh, it goes to Tracy. I couldn't get it together in time, so. So you're forfeiting today your position on Pink's. You didn't back out. You told me you're going to be here. Is there an engine in that car? There's no engine in that car. Do you accept his vehicle? I accept your vehicle. It couldn't go to a nicer person, Tracy. I'll tell you what, you man. Of luck. I appreciate it. And you are a stand-up, first-class racer. That's, <laughs> that's how it's handled on Pink's. Will Cochran, absolutely. And in Richmond, Virginia, when some local boys didn't show, our own Nate Pritchett stepped up. The person that was supposed to show up tonight didn't. Nate's car is not ready. He stepped up so we could entertain you and give you two episodes, or you would have left after one. I tell you what, my boy Nate fell on his sword for that show. His car wasn't ready, and he raced it anyway, 
knowing he's probably going home empty-handed. MSD's not gonna run if the battery's dead. No, that's true. That's how far we go for the audience to make it happen on Pangs. Up next, see what circumstances cause not one, but both racers to back out after titles have already been signed and each team has a win. Everything's negotiable on this deal. You might be negotiable. My <laughs> life ain't negotiable. Welcome back to No Shows, Quitters, and Breakdowns, a special edition of Pinks. In season five, we had some unbelievable races. This matchup from Lebanon Valley Dragway in upstate New York proved once again that on Pinks, anything can happen. Manny Bujinga was mashed up with Brent Derrick, two New Yorkers with extremely fast cars. Manny and George, tell me about your crew, tell me about your car, what do you have with you tonight? Brought a 1984 Mercury Capri, <clears throat> it's a 302 base motor, it's a street car. Brent, tell me about your crew and what you got for a car. Four door Impala, okay. 78. Cool. Um, it's got a 396, weighs 3,200 pounds. Great. No nitrous. Just, just a good car. Oh, good. So why don't we just line them up, see what we got for a heads-up pass. Oh, All right, let's up. go. Let's line them up and let's race. So far, everything points to another great episode of Pinks. See just how quickly that can all change. We didn't see anything. Oh, we did see Rich. We yes. saw that they got a car that's got a 16 inch side that hooks up really well. Yeah. We got a 10 inch side car that doesn't hook up so well. Did you see so that I'm car at the that's other so end? Well, like, everybody squirreling. was squirreling. Was, you run 200 mile an hour. Right. I can't penalize them for having a good tire tonight. What do you want? Switch lanes? We want the right lane okay. and three lengths. Okay, will you give them three lengths in the right lane? No, no. Send us up one, send you back one. That's cool. I'll find that. Okay, that's great. Good. And we switch lanes and do that? All right. Okay, shake hands. All right, guys. Shake hands, scale finish line. Let's race. Brother, I want to see a John Force funny car burnout this time. They want to drag both sides for safety issues. We had unbelievable heavy rains in the days leading up to the race. And because of the drop in temperature, the track simply couldn't dry out. It's not for the track to adapt to the racer, it's for the racer to adapt to the track, and they both have the same condition. They clean both track, both lanes, so hopefully they got it right. Okay, boys, fire them up. by a car. One car like <laughs> The track's terrible. Yeah, the track's terrible. I know. Yeah. Is that yes. where that lane was? From big tie yeah. into yeah. like yeah. that over there? I just don't want to get more greasy out there. If we spray and drag it again. I don't feel safe going down this track. 
If you feel the same way, speak up now. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's unsafe on been, the top end. In my opinion, yeah. the only safe way to do this is mm -hmm. A, run that jet constantly, and B, go to the eighth mile. For us to eighth mile, say you, you heat this track up and you get it to 70 degrees. It might be a little bit better. It's still gonna do the same stuff. This ain't about a TV show for us. This is about having right. a good time. I this is that. about my safety. Right. Yeah. I got a family, a right. wife, and a kid. I also right. wanna be safe. When the car exactly. does that, that ain't right. We have a couple of options here. Number one, we're heating up the glue. It doesn't feel that bad out there. If you re-glue it, but you get no heat in it, we're in the same boat as we are right now. Not if you can go out there and feel it. We don't normally have trouble like this here anytime. The other two guys, they said they're willing to go right now. You guys can go second. Stick around and see if we get the track warm. That's fine with me. We can go first. It's still 1-1. Manny, everything's negotiable on this deal. That's great. You might be negotiable. My life ain't negotiable. And that shows that out there. You're right. I agree. You know, I, and your driver, you should have more courtesy because your driver did the same thing. I see what both of right. you guys did. You know, it ain't I, right. I totally agree. I just Bruce, need you to relax. Listen, when you strap yourself yeah. in yeah. and you do what we just I'm, did, I'm then you come back and you tell us how you feel. So even though both teams agreed to come back after the next race was run, the drivers had other ideas. Me and him were talking. Whatever they decide to do, that's good. If they want to act like monkeys, they can do that. Take your stuff, I'll take my stuff, and we're going to call on a race. That's what you guys, that's fine. I mean, I, we don't want to come back again. And neither of hey, us need to die. You know what? They had all the chances in the world to run us earlier today, yeah. and they did. Right. These other guys want to go. Brent, you got a family, bro. And I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's not worth it. The track's going to Dude, I was like this close from the wall. And we're done. Yeah, we're done, man. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. That's it. So Manny and Brett decide it's not safe to race, and they walk out. We were just in the middle of an episode, and the other racers felt the track was unsafe. I get word that you guys want to go now. But you're racing at your very own risk tonight. Be careful, Race. stay safe. Race. Race. Adapt, OK? Not saying that they didn't. They tried hard. They just didn't feel safe. They lost confidence. Let's go heads up. Let's see how it works. Heads up. Heads up. Say that. Tail fish line. Let's race. What you're about to see should put to rest any questions about pinks being real. It just fell on its face when I went to floor it. Let's go, fix your car. We got a problem with the squirt. Welcome back to No Shows, Quitters, and Breakdowns, a special edition of Pinks. Back in season three, due to all the work that Dwayne Jacobs put into getting on the show, we matched him up one more time with Greg Green. Greg, you won on a uh, catastrophic failure, but it was towards the last race, so your truck's been through a lot more, so right now you have uh, some issues that you're looking at right now. Right. I don't want a race to end in catastrophic failure anymore tonight. If your car breaks down any time tonight and the track manager says catastrophic failure, I want you going home with what you want. Both cars should be pretty equal on the motor. It's motor to motor, heads up for the first one. Cool? Okay. Let's shake hands. Let's check on your car. If your car is able to run, we line them up and we race. All right, Kale Fishline, let's check this out. It should take care of it. We'll find out here in a second. You ready to come down? Uh, yeah. You're done? Yeah. Oh! I didn't make oh. transmission, man. Yeah. Right here. when I went to floor it. Let's go, fix your car. It's gotta be a race to the finish line yeah. or, no, or nobody wins. We're one up on him, but if he can't run again, yeah. then, it's, then he loses nothing. Well, that bank accelerator pump locked the tightest drum. It won't move at tall. We got a problem with the squirter. Did you salvage the part? I got it, it's coming off. Oh, I got it. Yeah, we got it off. All right, Dwayne, turn the pump on. Let's make sure it's going to squirt. Uh, we got the same problem. There's obviously a blockage in the car, brother. We're done. Since Dwayne's truck was unable to make a pass, both racers left with their car and the car they won earlier that night. Later on, Paula Fontes blew up his car in testing 
but still showed up to face the cameras. Well, I want to congratulate you guys for getting your car here. Thank you. Man, we took a car from the junkyard three weeks from start to finish from a total lost car. We got some dyno time Sunday morning to try to make a couple pulls. First pull, low boost, it sent the rod straight out the oil pan. I mean, there is nothing left of the block. We're here to be good sportsmen. We brought you guys a check for 2500 to donate to the street racing victims assistance. Thank you. And uh, I know you guys are trying to do this for charity, and we want to make things right. You guys had a lot of hard work in it, too, guys. Thank you. So, so thank we you appreciate for everything you guys have done. And you won't be taking their car, so will you accept the $2,500 and their explanation on Pink's tonight? Yes. Sir. All right, then congratulations. Thank Everybody you. give it up. Very nice gesture. Next, we head south to Alabama, where Randy Sherado took on Brian Dunavant. What appeared to be an ordinary, catastrophic failure was arguably the most dangerous situation we've ever had on Pink's. Drive, Cap. Holy. There's a hole in the floor as I got shot with a cannon. Welcome back to No Shows, Quitters, and Breakdowns, a special edition of Pink's. Here's another great example of why Pink's is unlike any other show on television. Yeah. Brian Dunavant versus Randy Sherado, a great 1050 Chevy matchup. My car won't run 1050 on motor. He needs a real light shot to go 1050. There's no way okay. to judge a light what, 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 shot. What do you call a light shot? Is that kind of being kind of pregnant? Against my negotiator, I know my car won't run a 1050 off the bottle. I'm going to give you a, your first heads up. And after that, that bottle's coming back on. Heads up. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey Randy, would you agree on that pass that he got you? Yes. Now let's go heads up and run the 1050 race. That's why we came here. No, fa no faster than 1050. Hey, you know both of y'all rolled out the no, throttle. No, 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 no. But you know, we were watching the time. I'm going to run what it takes to run a 1050. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Let's race. Heads up. Yeah. The reason this matchup was so great was because both racers were willing to line up heads up every time. That was the nitrous coming yes, on. Yes, sir. How did he get beat down? Let off too early. Just missed the timing, got outrun at the end. How about that squirrely ass Nova down there, speed flying, brother? Hey, Randy, would you agree on that one that they got you by like half a car length? Yes. Okay, so now he's up by two. What are you looking for for this race? I want the same race, what we have. Yeah, because you let off. It got squirrely on me. Next time I'm going to stay in it. Don't want nothing Rick to take home, okay? No. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. So, same race? We'll go same. All right. Let's go yeah, just line him up right now. Let's race. I know I can take him. I know we can take him. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm riding the right. silver cloud, brother. It's a breeze, baby. Fair enough. I'm ready, my man.
Line him up. He's got to make a pass. Fired up. He's still going to make a pass, bud. That's my car now. <laughs> I hate that my car broke. Dead and done? Look at, look at a hole in the floor. Holy! There's a hole in the floor. It looks like I got shot with a cannon. I forgot you. I'm all right. My car ain't, but I'm all right. Yes. Wow. Where do you see the case crack? It's leaking front to the back. Wow. Look at wait, wait. What happened? I said, I said, he broke his car. He come 800 miles. I did get the tools. He got the tools. So I took him his car back and told him to go home, fix it. You fix that baby and come back. We'll pull the trigger again. True smarter chef. Excellent. You know the number one question I get asked? Is it really that intense out there? Yeah, it is. Because on Pink's, if you lose the race, you lose your ride. You won. Oh, this is how I made it. This is what I won out of the deal. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is my new Nova. Like this show? Want more? Then head to watchpttv.com, the new 100% free PowerTube TV streaming network. Home of the best classic and new motorsports racing and build shows on the web.